hey y'all welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title is going to be my updated life i guess a q a if you're new here my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave yeah i told you guys to um ask me questions i posted a um poll on my instagram story so i got a lot of questions from there and most of my questions did come from youtube i think i got like 22 comments total and a few of y'all asked like five questions in one so i wrote down some of the simpler questions where i can just answer like yes no maybe like one or two sentences too so we're just going to get the small simple questions out the way first and then the ones that's more juicy i guess you can say or i need to elaborate a little bit more on we're going to get to those after these and i think i got about nine or ten on these right here the oh and i need i really need to wear my glasses so i can see but if i wear my glasses then obviously y'all can see that ring light so <laughs> the first question i'm going to answer is how old am i someone asked i am 23 years old i turned 23 august 1st of this year team leo we the best argue with one but not me okay but someone else asked me i don't know i may or may not put the questions on the screen um that is a lot a lot of editing <laughs> to do so i may or may not do that if it's like a longer question and then i kind of i'm kind of reading off my phone i may just post the question that way so you can know what i'm answering but another question was am i still looking at apartments and someone else asked how is apartment hunting um yes i'm still looking at apartments kind of sort of i more so want a townhouse i kind of explained that in the last video um how is apartment hunting it's trash like <laughs> literally trash i've probably viewed and looked at almost every apartment in little rock mommy i've been looking in conway um alexander been like everywhere i've looked can i back back up <laughs> so yeah apartment hunting is tiring i'm over it um i have found a two townhouses that i'm interested in but i can't view them because obviously everyone they're all occupied so i can't even go view the townhouses that i'm interested in so yeah um what i consider getting a house most definitely i would consider getting a house um i want a house <laughs> i will not consider getting a house while i'm i guess you can say single um some people i feel like probably wouldn't get this but this is how i am um i'm scary so i want at least a four bedroom house um i do want upstairs downstairs but i definitely want at least a four bedroom house garage everything like when i move into a house i want it to be my dream house and it's like i'm not about to move into a house right now and just settle for anything you know so i don't want to move into a house until i'm married that may sound crazy but like i just said i am scary like i can't live in a two-story house a four-bedroom house with just me and prince like it's not gonna work i'm too scary for that and plus the house is a lot of responsibility so i just feel like having a man there also like to do the kind of harder hard work fixing things things like that around the house it just makes life a little bit more easier like obviously y'all be seeing me put up all my stuff and myself like i can do stuff myself that's not the problem it's just I don't want to be in something so big and be in there alone like i'm just i'm just a scary person so i would have when i get a house i'm going to be married so and it ain't no ring on this finger right now so we ain't get no house <laughs> um my favorite hobby is i would say youtube um youtube isn't my full-time job i work at the hospital so youtube i would can even though i get paid for youtube i would definitely say youtube is definitely He's about to come here and sweep the toy. I would say YouTube is definitely my favorite hobby. Um, I do like to read books. I don't know if I look like the type of person who likes to read books, but I do. In high school, I really loved enrichment. Like, I was like, yes, like, come on, let me read my book while everybody else hated reading and enrichment. Somebody else asked, am I a loner? If so, no, they said, am hey, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh. Am I a loner or do I just film alone? um <laughs> i wouldn't consider myself to be a loner um i live alone so obviously if i'm doing vlogs and stuff you're not going to see somebody with me on a daily basis and i feel like this may be a new subscriber like not trying to you know 
point you out if they're going to bust or anything like that. It's just I have many vlogs where I'm with friends, family, doing different things um, with them. So I wouldn't necessarily call myself a loner. I am a homebody. Um, I don't like to go out. A lot of times, like, I'll go out and have a good time, but you're not about to see me out. Prince, stop. You're not about to see me out every weekend and stuff like that. Um, or do I film alone? I do film alone. I live alone. So if someone isn't with me or if I'm not out doing something with somebody, then I'm filming alone. Um, someone asked what hair products do I use? A lot of people have been thinking this is my real hair. Um, it isn't. <laughs> the front is. I've had this installed in since August. Shout out to my, um hairstylist they did this but yeah this isn't my real hair i have in 26 inches and my real hair is 21 and a half almost 22 so this right here at the top all of this right here is my real hair so if i go down it stops about right here and so all of this will be weave so my real hair stops right here and then of course the back is a little bit longer than the front but all of this this will be the fake length but all of this is the real length of my hair um hair products i use on my natural hair like weave i don't really use anything i just use like a oil so my hair don't burn out um on my natural hair i like to use shea moisture um i want to try some of the black owned products but i usually just use cantu shea moisture um those are the ogs i've been using for <laughs> my bad those are the ogs i've been using for a while and i really don't care to switch them up right now um how is life treating me and can we get more videos of my car life has been treating me pretty good i would say like i don't have anything to really complain about right now um and can y'all see more videos of my car i don't really know what i would record basically to show my car off like i don't know <laughs> what type of videos you would want i've already done a car tour me vlogging getting my car um in a vlog i actually vlogged cleaning out my car so I mean I guess I can do another claim my car with me like a dedicated video but when I vlog I usually vlog while I'm in the car driving so I mean you can see it then so if you have any suggestions I guess you can comment down below but I don't really know what I would record <laughs> me doing with my car so yeah and let me get my phone because the rest of the questions are on there those are kind of like the simple easy questions okay so I got my phone I'm going to just be reading off the rest of the questions from my phone um, I'm going to start off with Instagram since Instagram questions are a lot shorter than the ones I got on youtube so i've already answered a few of these um one of the questions i haven't answered yet was shout out to Juan. he asked me this as a youtuber how have you grown over the past years um i would say i'm more consistent like than i used to be like i used to post a video once or twice every like couple months or so and then it's like once I really figured out that people <laughs> really like want to watch me and it's excited to watch me and it's like I help them you know get what what <laughs> I help them get through different things like I get so many different nice comments from you guys but just actually seeing that you guys really enjoy watching me and really like me I guess it just made me want to do more with my YouTube, um, like right now, like I said, it's not my full-time job, but it's definitely one of my best and favorite hobbies that I have going right now. So I feel like with YouTube, just year by year, I'm growing, like growing, learning, moving. Um, I will say my page has definitely grown a lot. I've gotten a lot of new subscribers. Um, I just feel like I've grown so much because I'm getting a lot more recognition also. So it's making me kind of go a little bit harder. But like I said, it still is just a hobby. So it's like I'm not pressuring myself to like, oh, I got to stick to a schedule. I got to put out this many videos this week. Do this, do that. Like, no, I still have fun with this. It. So it's not like stressing me out, I would say. So I feel like I've grown a lot. <laughs> um, I am. I don't know if this is weird, but like back then... I didn't care to vlog like I would whip out my camera anywhere but it's like now I don't know like I don't be wanting to vlog as much as I used to I don't know it's weird but yeah I hope that answered like I don't I don't know I hope that answered your question um someone said are you dating anyone by the way you're so pretty thank you that was um I don't know if y'all want me to say y'all name or not with y'all questions I guess I won't. I won't say it. But you know who you are. 
um are you dating anyone by the way you're so pretty thank you um i would say <laughs> i would say yes i'm dating someone i feel like because i'm nobody's someone else asked um am i in a relationship and stuff like that i got a lot of questions like that i'm not in a relationship like i'm not anyone's girlfriend nobody asked me out um yet. i am talking to somebody i am um interested in someone if that answers your question um someone else asked let me see i'm trying to categorize all these um do you want kids when i get married yes i want kids when i get married um i want three I did want two a while back, but then it's kind of like, mm, I kind of want three. Um, I do want a set of twins. That's why I say I want three. Like, I want a set of twins and then whatever the other child be, boy or girl, it really don't matter. But I definitely want a set of twins, but then I want another child. So, yeah. Um, someone asked, the same person asked, do you think you will get another dog or is Prince going to be your only baby? Um, definitely want another dog. I want a dog a little bit bigger than him. I was looking for a dog last year, but I kind of stopped because my life is hectic. <laughs> Basically with like my work schedule and stuff. And since I'm on the subject of that, I do remember somebody on, I think YouTube asked me about basically like getting a new puppy and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I work 12 hours overnight and getting a new dog requires a lot. So I feel like I would need to be home more than i am or just have like a little bit more help like obviously my parents his grandparents they keep him and stuff like that so i have help but it's just like i don't think i'm ready right now for another dog but yeah i definitely want another dog i would like to have maybe like three dogs honestly <laughs> and it what and it gives him somebody to play with um he used to play with my best friend's dog his brother they were in the same did he call litters with dogs whatever she had his brother so he used to play with him a lot um someone asked do you have a new boo yes <laughs> and another person asked keeping your love life well they said keeping your love life private is always smart is it hard to film i'm ig fam so i see lol i think she's referring to a boomerang that i posted um of a little date nights or whatever <laughs> but keeping your love life private is always smart it is i always say private not secret like a lot of people especially this generation love love to be toxic or want to be toxic or whatever the case may be and maybe it ain't no toxic over here okay so definitely private not secret like with a few flexing we can do here and there that's cool but um yeah she also said is it hard to film i guess she means with like talking to somebody i guess i don't know if y'all watch my vlogs y'all see me on facetime a lot um or on the phone a lot i'll be on the phone talking <laughs> and sometimes if y'all hear me just like laugh or blurt out something it's because i'm on the phone on facetime and she's asking is it hard to film it's not hard to film because behind the scenes like right now if i was on the phone and he was to blurt out something i would just cut it out like you would never know what was said behind the scenes so it's not hard at all let me miss them all yeah so it's not hard at all oh someone else asked what is your profession in the healthcare field what are some good entry-level positions my profession I'm a PCT. Um, a lot of people think I'm a nurse. I'm not a nurse. <laughs> I know I went to nursing school for a semester and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not a nurse. I'm a tech. <laughs> and what are some good entry level positions? Um, techs, CNAs, you can do, it's, it's a whole lot of different tech positions you can do like around the hospital. Um, you can be, I think it's like ER techs. You can be a whole lot of things. Um, phlebotomy, you can do a number of things in a hospital setting. I really don't know because really I'm not even interested in really anything else so I don't know what to tell you but you can look on uh you can google it or I mean ask somebody if you know someone that works in the healthcare field they can probably help you a lot more than me it's just I'm just a tech so I can learn more before I go back to nursing school again so yeah my ultimate goal is to be a nurse so I'm gonna get to the YouTube questions um 
this one person asked me like five questions in one so i'm just going to get his out the way <laughs> they said first let me start by saying i really enjoy watching your videos and look forward to every new upload sending love from st louis what's up st louis with that being said here's a few questions i hope you make i hope makes it a video so first question are you currently dating if so do you ever plan on going public um yes i'm talking to somebody basically public like i'm not <laughs> i would be the person to as far as like my youtube channel like that's up to the person whoever like becomes my boyfriend so it's like if they want to be on a vlog or something like that then it's cool i don't have a problem with it but as far as like instagram and stuff like that i don't care to post stories like i love love um i posted that on my story the other day um i love pens <laughs> get it out i love seeing people happy for one i love seeing black love true love not no fakeness not somebody cheat behind somebody else back because that just <laughs> girl irks my nerves but as far as the public um i don't mind that because there's a lot of people out there that do like seeing people happy and seeing people in, in happy relationships but there is a lot of people out there that do not like to see nobody happy that is toxic they be trying to ruin your relationship they be trying to do all of this and it's it's too much it's too much it really is so that's something i can't really answer at the moment because like i don't know what the future holds so also as to how has apartment hunting been coming along already answered that what do you find most difficult trying to coordinate work with school i'm a second year full-time student full-time employee and a part of national guard okay and it's be it's beginning to become a bit difficult well i'm not currently in school anymore but when i was in school i wasn't working 12 hour shifts <laughs> i was working at um big lots if you remember that you're a true subscriber <laughs> um i was working at big lots and my schedule would be like eight to one or like working weekends and stuff i did move in with my parents for a year and i wasn't working at all until i withdrew from nursing school someone else asked me about that um i, I withdrew because of personal family reasons um and it made it really really hard to focus on nursing when something else was happening where i was living so i just couldn't take it it was like nursing school is stressful in itself and then trying to deal with whatever i was dealing with it was a lot so that's why but um obviously i mean you just got to get it done like it's not easy school is not easy trying to work and go to school is not easy i would say have someone that's on your side like as far as your boss and stuff like that get someone who understands what you're going through and that you may need this day off that day off and that works with your schedule there are people out there good people that will help you what do you suggest when saving up for an apartment furniture rent and other miscellaneous things i have another q a video i'll post a picture probably right here or tag it or link it or something but i kind of answered all that kind of stuff in that last video basically it was a q a of moving out between the ages of 18 and 21 so i feel like i feel like that'll answer all of those questions for you but i do recommend having at least the first two months of bills saved up so you don't got to worry about anything with me um i know a lot of you guys are new but i haven't lived with my parents since 2016 besides when i moved in with them for like that year to go to nursing school but i've been out on my own since 2016 so i've already had pots and pans furniture different kind of kitchen items like different kind of apartment items i've already had so it's like when y'all see me moving here in my last apartment i wasn't just completely out on my a <laughs> like i've had apartment items it's just i wanted new things and obviously i wanted to buy a couch this is my old couch i do got a sectional so with couches and stuff if you don't want to pay flat out use a credit card or if you don't have a credit card and stuff like that you can um do payment plans like i had a payment plan on this this couch this love seat not even a couch this love seat was a thousand dollars girl i did a payment plan <laughs> so yeah they just take money out your check if you get paid weekly bi-weekly whatever the case may be they'll take 40 to like 80 dollars every week or every two weeks and that's how you pay for your furniture if you don't want to pay flat out if you didn't save up for it 
do you plan on getting any more pets besides prints just answered that where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years in the next five to ten years i see myself not living in arkansas i see myself married within five to ten years because maybe i'm already 23 like <laughs> time's a ticking <laughs> so yeah definitely see myself not living in arkansas definitely see myself at least engaged somebody's fiance married you know a kid within five years 23 24 25 six, seven. i'll be 28 so yeah i can see myself with a kid in five years so yeah definitely because i don't want to have a kid until i'm married um i believe i said that before on my channel um no you know shade no disrespect no nothing to somebody who didn't wait to get married and obviously i know marriage doesn't you know keep you with nobody and stuff like that but you do have a little bit more security if you will um so anyways i don't see myself having a kid until there's a ring on his finger but yeah next five to ten years to definitely see myself all those things and a nurse um i'm gonna go i already applied back to school i didn't want to see anything but i haven't sent off anything yet so hopefully i can meet the deadline and send off my transcripts and everything like that but definitely see myself either being like a nurse or a full-time youtuber someone said just wanted to let you know that i love prince and that he follows you around the house someone else said i enjoyed the video in which you described how you could edit and produce your content i think your input and knowledge would be okay i'll probably just make a video about editing and stuff Someone else said, I'm sure you answered this before, but what kind of dog is Prince? Prince is a Morky, Yorkie and Maltese mix. Um, and what advice would you give for new pet owners? That's the comment I was looking for. Um, every dog is different. I think I've answered this before. Um, you can go check out the Meet My Morky video. I'll put a picture right here. Um, but I did that video literally all about Prince. And I think I answered that question in there. So it's literally meet my morky like it's all about prints so you can go check that video out and she also said i'm a rn and i work nights so i've been on the fence about getting a puppy and i thought of leaving him alone for 12 hours with no one to watch him i get that that's why i haven't got another dog yet because i live alone um working nights though i feel like it's better than working days because you will be gone 12 hours throughout the day and you need to be taking that dog out every like if you want to do like if you don't want to house train them but you need to be you know making sure that dog go potty every like three hours so i feel like it'll be okay to get another dog while you are working night shift because it may be a little bit easier um i would say probably take you know pto of course like the first week or two just so they can kind of get a sense of everything and then once you get a routine down it's easy so yeah but you can go watch that in my working video um, Bella said, hey girl, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. And my question is, do you ever think about moving to a different state? Yes, Texas. <laughs> I wanted to move to Georgia, Atlanta to be exact. Um, but it's a little bit further away. And I don't really want, let me see. And how did you start your YouTube channel with some tips for people trying to start one? Okay. I chose Texas, preferably Dallas. I did want to move to Houston, but somewhere around in the Dallas area, even if it's like 20 to 30 minutes outside of Dallas is where I want to go. Um, Dallas is only a four hour drive. And I mean, a flight is nothing. As I've gotten, as I've gotten older, um, family is the most important thing to me. Um, I don't want to cry because I'm thinking of my sister right now, but for those of you who don't know, my sister passed away. It's been five years ago now from breast cancer. And it just marked five years a few days ago. So, um, family is really important to me. Especially because life is short. She passed in her early 30s, right after she had two little girls. And I don't want to move too far away because obviously I'm getting older my parents are getting older you know everyone's getting older so it's like i still want to be close you know you never know what may happen but i do try to spend as much time as i can around family and loved ones <laughs> um any family gathering anything like that i do try to attend because whoa family nine times out of ten is all you got i know everybody family isn't the type of family that they would wish they would have everybody family don't get along but i feel like mine for the most part <laughs> we're a pretty good family you know so it's just i don't want to move so far away 
and not be able to just get in a car and like drive like four hours isn't a lot i used to go to school two hours away so it's like it's not that much and i drove to dallas last year for my birthday and i drove like three and a half hours so whew, it's not a lot but yeah definitely i want to move to texas um someone else asked well, they said i love your vlogs i know you said you work nights what do you do I already answered that i'm a tech continue to keep the vlogs going and being great thank you so much someone else asked do you plan on going back to school for nursing anytime soon it's something i have always wanted to do but i keep putting off um definitely i just said i already applied i just got to send all my crap in <laughs> before the deadline like i hate the whole sending transcripts doing this and doing that type thing like it's a lot it really is a lot but i'm gonna do it <laughs> and do it go for it don't put it off anymore um i move out for the first time on my own really soon how do you budget your place rent and other bills etc any tips you can go watch my q a video that i had already mentioned <laughs> the moving out at 18 to 21 um i basically answer all of those questions in that video um, I'm a full-time CNA and a full-time student getting my master's and struggling to balance everything. How do you do it? I'm currently not in school right now. So a lot of you guys probably think I'm still in school. I'm not. <laughs> so I really can't answer that question because when I was in school, like I said, I wasn't working a 12-hour shift and stuff like that. So I could probably have a better answer for you like next year once I actually get back into school <laughs> and really show you guys and tell you guys how I balance everything so the next person said i'm going to start off by saying i admire your persona i'm 22 first college attempt didn't understand the assignment and dropped out now things are different i've grown a lot mentally striving to become a nurse was hoping for advice is nursing school difficult how long was your nursing journey is becoming an lpn worth it do you enjoy do you <laughs> enjoy working in a hospital setting also do you plan to incorporate a day in the life of a nurse or work get ready with me um so <laughs> didn't understand the assignment it's cool life happens it's cool as long as you're going back um is nursing school difficult yes it's hard anywhere you go it's hard you're literally learning to save someone's life <laughs> you know and give them the best care as possible to get them better how long was your nursing journey is becoming an lpn worth it i'm not a nurse yet but i did go to lpn school um do you enjoy working in a hospital setting as a tech it's not bad when i become a nurse i can tell you right now i'm not going to be working in a hospital setting it's not for me all the nurses up there literally show me that i'm not going to be a hospital nurse like i can't do it it's it's not for me <laughs> Also, do you plan to incorporate a day in the life of a nurse or work? Get ready with me. I'm not a nurse, but I do want to do a um, night in the life since I work night shift. Night in the life of a PCT or like get ready with me, stuff like that. So I'll probably do one in, I'll probably do that like next week. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'll do it within a couple weeks. <laughs> um, short term, do you plan on staying in your city or moving somewhere else? Just answer that. Um someone asked is moving to atl a great move for blacks especially if you have a business um i do see a lot of people with the businesses and stuff like that move to atlanta for different like networking and just the whole networking business aspect but i feel like sorry i feel like you can do good kind of like wherever you're at um if you don't want to just up and move to like atlanta or somewhere you can literally just go to different networking um conventions and stuff like that like there's a lot held there's a lot of conventions and stuff held basically stuff like that is just word of mouth and it's not what you know it's who you know and i've learned that a long time ago it's not what you know it's who you know what are your long-term plans long term i think i kind of answered that when someone asked me whether i see myself in the next five to ten years um but yeah definitely being a nurse not living in arkansas um being someone's fiance <laughs> married with a kid with another dog with the house um maybe youtube even almost full-time if not full-time um and just whatever else life and god allowed me to have in the future um 
my lash business somebody else asked me about that but um definitely my business um i will actually start it like i started it but i didn't really like continue so someone asked updates on the last business a lot of people always think i sell hair because i do do a lot of wig reviews and i always have hair and stuff so that's kind of something that i've been looking into so i think i kind of maybe want to shift it to like selling hair and then obviously have like the lashes on hand also like to incorporate into my business is dating hard <laughs> i would say yes dating is hard because it's like i've been i feel like there's no more hurt that i can go through like i've been hurt so bad in my last relationship don't even want to get into it but i will say it literally dropped me down to my lowest points ever in my life like i feel like i was lower than when my sister passed away and that's not good but i was definitely at a very 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 low point last year and i'm so glad that god has turned my life completely around okay i'll pray to the man above but it is hard dating especially in this generation because like i said earlier i feel like everyone takes pride or think it's cute to be toxic or talking to somebody else man or you know whatever the case may be cheating or sneaky links like whatever else y'all want to say that's been going on in this generation so it's just like i feel like after i have been hurt so bad it's like i never want to experience that hurt again and i never i never ever would want to put that type of hurt on someone else so it's like if you not trying to really be with me or if you don't you know see a future with us anything like that like don't even waste my time and obviously in the talking stage like sometimes you know talking to somebody it don't work out but after like two the three months i feel like you would kind of know if you really you know if you really f with that person or not and if you're not really f with them then it's like okay like this ain't about to work out like i figured that out within like two weeks of you know talking to somebody so it's like dating is hard but i feel like people make it harder because some people don't really want to be hurting people feelings and stuff or people just don't know how to tell somebody something and i'm like literally all you have to do is just say you know what you meant and it's like i am only 23 but i feel like i got an older soul like i like all the cheesy romantic stuff i'm a hopeless romantic um i like for my man to you know open the door for me hold my hand we do this we do that like the old school love is what i'm into and it's just like me in these days like that was in my dms and just trying to talk to me and stuff like that like they be coming at me crazy and i've been posting a little bit on my <laughs> on my instagram story but it's like sometimes they'll be like oh you're gonna have my kids or you're gonna be my baby mama or oh i want to eat your a and it's like you think that's cute like i'm not even about to respond to you if that's what you you know you own like are you serious right now so that's why i'm like it is definitely hard it's annoying but i mean i don't know i feel like god is going to bring me who i'm supposed to be with it's all on his time like i'm not rushing anything but it's definitely all on his time and i just know i can't take no more heartbreak it's not in me so it's like when someone do like try to start talking to me whatever it's like i just tell them straight up like i'm not with the games anymore like i've had my fun senior year in high school freshman year in college like i didn't did take some multiple dudes talking to multiple, like all of this and i mean some of y'all may say like you're supposed to do casual dating like you know if you're not in a relationship like if someone isn't physically my boyfriend i'm not their girlfriend like it's okay to date around that's not me i don't care i don't have the energy to be talking to multiple dudes to tell the same three to four dudes what i'm doing you know like it's just too much for me and it's exhausting i don't want to tell four different dudes what i'm doing and i don't want like i want one person's attention and i want their attention to be on me so it's like i feel like that's hard too like obviously when you first start talking to somebody like if you was talking to somebody like that's cool but it's like cut all that shit out like <laughs> if you're trying to get with me it better not be no other female in the picture and that's just it so i'm gonna leave that right there but definitely i feel like dating is hard but when you find your one, you find your one. And I know God got me.
because my heart is pure my intentions are pure i'm not messing with somebody just to mess with them and like i said the beginning of this year i did not have any communication no anything physical anything with any man for the first three months of this year like did not talk to no dude at all like no communication because i was working on myself i was focused on me and i found myself so definitely recommend doing that before you try to give somebody to love you and put your love into somebody else like have yourself love first but yeah i feel like that's all i got to say on that um topic um i just want something real that's all i ask for so i do make sure to tell people like straight up and I used to not be the one to um, kind of have like certain conversations or like ask certain things. But it's like, like I said, I'm too old. Like I'm 23, I'm young, but I'm too old at the same time. And it's like, if you ain't on what I'm on, then you can get to stepping. Like I'm gonna find somebody that's on what I'm on, you know, like. And I've been talking too long, so I'm gonna end that right here. Um, if there's anything else you guys would like for me to answer, um you can comment and i'll just type out an answer to you but this video is long enough so don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe and until my next video i will see you lovelies then bye guys